Now, uh, what are the life lifestyle factor which influence the epigenetics? So several life uh, fact, lifestyle factor have been identified that might modify the epigenetic pattern, uh, such as the diet, obesity, uh, physical 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 activities, tobacco smoking, alcohol consumption, the environmental pollutant where we are, the psychological stress, and the work uh, on night shift. Now it has become very common that uh, I think when I when I listed out all this thing. Uh, all this point, I think, uh, even we are for we are having this kind of disturbance in our day to day uh, activities. Diet we don't follow, uh, except you know there are a few people, but all these people who are busy in their work and all that having a have been, it's been such a long time. Like uh, you remember, like when did you had your uh, food being uh, with all your family members? So we just. Just munch it or like whatever it comes and we, we, what we feel is like during that time you have to fill up our stomach and just uh, do our work. So that can create an imbalance. Obesity, again, that will become a very common issue now. And the lack of physical activities. Now, post COVID, like all our physical activities, like work from home and then all this physical activities, physical exercise has become very less. So that in turn results into imbalance in our system. Uh, of course, the tobacco smoking, alcohol consumption, again, all this plays a very important uh, factor when it comes to an infertility. Where when, when a couple comes, we always uh, suggest uh, if, uh, what we do is basically we, uh, we just go for a de- uh, sperm uh, DFI to find out what is the, uh, uh, what is the uh, efficiency of the DNA that the sperm uh, is carrying uh, in, the, in the system. So any change in the DNA. If the DNA fragmentation is very high in the in the, the semen analysis, we always inform the uh, husband not to have a smoking habit or stop the all the alcohol consumption and follow such a healthy diet. So this in turns and along with certain medications given, so this will improve the sperm quality. And this, what is the sperm quality? This is what I'm talking about. The sperm DNA also, along with the sperm quality uh, out of the physical factor which we look into. Apart from that. The genetical factor will also improve. So this will in turn will be helpful for them to get conceived. And when it comes to an environmental factor, is the one thing which is like completely is not like one man's call. And the and the environmental factor is a very important thing that all of us to work together to make sure that all of our environmental factor has to be maintained in a standard way. Uh, the, the pollutants and other things about. Uh, now, psychological stress has become a, a, a very high uh, impact in the infertility. Uh, when I was talking about this, I like I just remembered a patient where uh, uh, she was very confident uh, uh, on her procedure, though her mm-hmm. embryo quality is not such great. So when when we cultured the embryos, uh, we can able to judge that whether this embryos can result into pregnancy or not. But uh, I remember that patient embryo's quality was not that great, okay. but still, like whatever comes is instead of just abandoning the cycle, we have just transferred the embryos. But we all know that okay, this this patient will result into negative because of the embryo quality. But the way she had a positive mind that uh, uh, we explained her. And saying that just before the transfer, we explained to the patient that okay, this is how the quality of embryo this could be the uh, result outcome. But she was very positive when that uh, fine doctor, like you have, you have done your best. So I believe that uh, this should work. So that that positive mind, uh, it was shocking to us. Like when we checked a beta SG to check whether the pregnancy happened or not, it was positive. We couldn't believe that such an embryo where we didn't have any hope at all because of her uh, psychological, uh, uh, like stable mind, um, that just that gives a positive mind. Like what your brain thinks, all the when you when you think always positive, your, your body will also be positive. When you think negative, again, it it, it, it impact impact uh, in terms. So uh, with such a bad quality embryos, we have seen good pregnancy. Sometimes when we even transfer an excellent embryo, where we not almost like we say that yes, this embryos will result into pregnancy, but it will not happen. So 
uh, when, when, when it comes to infertility, your, your mental, uh, the psychological uh, thought which you have, your uh, embryo, uh, embryo uh, factor, uh, among with that, along with that embryo factor, your, the genetic of the embryos, all this plays a very important role.